Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm base box for the month of December 2021. This is my paid box, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's different from my PR box. I wanna say it's a different weight, but I don't know what the weight for the PR box was. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. I also was so good, guys. I did not open this up before filming it. It literally was just delivered. I just got home from work and we're opening it on camera. All right, all right. So the theme this month, if you guys don't know, is Gift of Glam. And it looks like we got something different. Something different. We've got one different item. I guess we'll go ahead and start out with my choice item. This is the Alginus Triple Algae Eye Renewal Balm. I actually tried some of this from my PR box. I did like it. It's nice. It's expensive, but it's nice. It retails for $68. It's a new brand to Boxy Charm. And that is what it looks like. I'm glad I got another one of these. The eye balm is nice. It's very moisturizing glides on nicely so i do like that a little bit disappointed to get another batch of sponges this is the third one i got this month i got it in my pr i got it in my paid premium and my paid base now i put no for beauty accessories and all that i don't need any more beauty blenders honestly i have so many and i go through like two a year i don't really go through them i love using them but i don't need any more i got so many they just keep piling up and you know you can get them for like a dollar nowadays I feel like the hype for them like they do work but then again like everybody sells them now that it's not like anything great anymore in my opinion. This is what I'm excited for. So this has been featured in BoxyCharm in the past. So it's not a new item. It is new to me. I've seen it and it looks really nice. I was hoping to get it a few boxes ago and then a few boxes before that. I don't know if it was in premium or what but I've seen it featured once or twice at least. It is definitely a repeat and this is the Ditto Cosmetics Limited Edition Venus 12 Eyeshadow Palette. I got a little bit scared. I thought this one was broken, but it's not broken. Look how pretty these are, guys. I have gotten a eyeshadow palette similar to this, and I think it was from... I don't remember what brand it was, but I got it from Ulta. It had some really pretty shades. They were kind of like a little bit rounded. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but this kind of reminds me of that. I like this one is pressed really cool. It looks like it has like bumps on it, but there's no texture. That's just like the print of it. So let's swatch a few of these. I've got to swatch this one, which is the Mars. Ooh, nice and pigmented. We have to do the Demis, which is right here, the gold and silver. Oh, no. When you put it together, the silver all goes away. All right, well, I guess we're going to mix it. Very pretty, though. I'm going to go ahead and swatch Venus, which is the big one. It looks like a highlighting color. Pretty. We are going to do Moon. These are nice and buttery. I would say some of them have a bit of fallout. I like that shade a lot. That's a really pretty pink shade. Let's do the purple, which is Ganymede. The disappointing part about this palette is that when you open it up, it looks so pretty, but when you just swatch it and use it one time, all of the texture goes away. All of the pretty colors and design go away. So you're just kind of left with an eyeshadow palette, which is fine, but it looks so pretty. I don't want to mess it up. Here are some of the swatches. I think they're really pretty. They're nice and pigmented. Glide on smoothly. They are very buttery. There is a little bit of fallout for some of them just because they are so buttery. But overall, it's a pretty nice palette. I would say this palette definitely made the box for me. It's super cute. I don't really need another eyeshadow palette, but I love eyeshadow palettes. Like that's one thing I've been saying that I miss about BoxyCharm. We used to always get eyeshadow palettes and I feel like we never do anymore. We did have one for choice. I did not pick it though because I do like the serum from pharmacy. So I went with that instead. I miss having all the palettes. Once again, this is the palette. I love this exterior packaging too. So that's a win for me. And this palette, I didn't even read the thing. This palette retails for $29.99. That's actually, that's not a bad price for this. Comparing it to some other eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Let's go on to the next item. We've got the Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum. It retails for $45 and helps plump hydrate the skin. You guys know. No, we've gotten so many hyaluronic acid serums before. I already got this in my PR box. I haven't tried it yet because I have so many serums open already. I don't really need it right now, but it looks like a good serum. I mean, the ingredients are pretty basic, honestly. Today's video shout out word is Venus. If you comment Venus down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. I will try this one out soon for you guys and let you know. I'll update it once I get a chance to try it. 
down in the description. And then the last product we've got in here is the Seraphine Luna Liner Water Resistant Liquid Eyeliner. It's in black, I believe, and it retails for $18. I'm not very big on water resistant or waterproof products because a lot of them have phthalates in them and those are not good for your skin. And I believe that they're finding out that they're carcinogens and all that stuff. So I stay away from waterproof stuff only because, because of that, but I'm lazy. I don't have the patience sometimes to just spend the extra time on it. I like it to be quick and easy. All right, guys. So this is my box. The total retail value is $184.99. So the value is definitely there for $25 a month. Prices are going up though, I think to 27 or 28. So if you can lock in the lower price, I would do it. I'm probably going to lock that in just because I'm probably going to stay for another year. I'm happy with this box. I don't really need the sponges, but the other items are pretty good, but I do go through eyeliners quite a bit. I'm trying to use my eye creams a little bit more eyeshadow palettes. I love experimenting. So for me, this was a good box. What did you guys think? Let me know down below and let me know what you guys got in your boxes. I'm always curious to hear everything else that everybody got. Today's video shout out goes out to Kimberly Davati. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to shout out my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.